This is Albemarle Digger. This morning I was hunting some flower beds around an old home site in the western part of Albemarle County when I got a fairly good signal that seemed to cover a fairly large footprint. So I dug down probably close to six inches and found what I thought was an old drummer boy's buckle. And this is what it looked like as I uncovered it. Meanwhile, across the hole from the, what I thought was the drummer's boy's buckle, another portion of the relic started to appear. I scraped the dirt off of it and noticed something sort of a reddish maroon color. I had no idea what it was. So I went back to the portion of the relic that I thought was a drummer's boy's buckle and started removing some more dirt from around it. It became obvious that it wasn't a drummer's boy buckle, but what was it? As I moved the dirt, I uncovered yet a third spot of this relic. And now there are three portions that are pretty visible. The drummer boy buckle, the second spot, and the third spot. At this point, I decided to take my fingers and my trowel and try to connect the three dots, so to speak, and see just what it was that I was digging up here. Fortunately, this is very moist soil and it's very crumbly and uh, it moves fairly easy with just your fingers. It's sort of like digging fresh mud. And now I can see that uh, the three portions are connected and I've uncovered something else right here. Let's dig down here and see what that's going to be. And much to my surprise, I uncovered what appeared to be the handle to a revolver. A drummer's boy buckle and a revolver. Well, couldn't get any more exciting than that. So let's finish scratching the dirt off from around this thing and see what we really have. Even though this dirt is very soft and moist, it is filled up with roots, which makes it hard digging this thing out. Uh, a lot of roots intertwined with it and tangled up in it, but we'll keep pecking at it and see if we can't get this thing out of the ground. Hooray, it's finally free from the dirt. And here's what I've been digging. It's a toy cap gun belt with two cap guns and two holsters. Uh, actually, the cap guns are made out of plastic, but they have metal workings. I'll lay it out here on the canvas so you all can see it better and try to work the cap guns out of the holsters. They're uh, actually stuck in there with some dirt, so we'll pack at these and keep prying and see if we can't get the cap guns out too. Well, the first one is out.
the second one is out. And so, as the old saying goes, you just never know what's going to come out of the ground. Here I thought I had a drummer boy's belt buckle, and it turned out to be a toy cap gun set. Oh well, I'm satisfied.